Hmm, Percy Jackson, Maximum Ride, Wings of Fire, all fantasies, no romance, they speak of. Hmm, Twilight? Isn't this a series where humans had an unnecessary fight between a lost dog or an edgy corpse? For a better bachelor for the pro tag. Oh well, you and teenagers used to read these. So, <laughs> why not? Okay, chapter one. My mother drove me to the airport. The windows rolled down. One night of binge reading later. Hey, uh, what you reading, Uzi? What? Nothing! It's none of your business! Bite me! Wait, no, no, don't, don't actually, um... <clears throat> hmm, uh, strange. You never held back your mantra before. Did something happen? Did that book do something to you? Shall I burn it? <laughs> Let me burn it, Uzi. No, it's not that! It's just... I thought Bite Me was just nothing more than a clever call-out, but after reading the book, it means a lot more. It could mean affection, an imprint, or a testament of devotion. Not once someone has given you that mark. They're theirs for an eternity that no one else can take them and hurt them or be lonely again. Hmm? A promise oh, okay. of love and acceptance! Ah! Ow! Uh, that hurt. Idiot! What was that for? Well, you said it was a form of devotion, Uzi. And marking someone means that you'll do whatever it takes to protect that person, right? Well, as a team member and a friend, it felt necessary to make you see that I won't let anyone hurt you as long as I am here. Because I care and accept uh -huh. you, Uzi. You idiot. It doesn't work like that. You have to be a werewolf or a vampire for it to work. God, why you never let me finish? Hmm. And if you think about it, we are kind of like vampires. We love that oil stuff you have. And we sleep like a bat sometimes, too. Hey, maybe I'm a robot vampire. Oh, wait till I tell V about this. Wait, V. V stands for vampire. It confirms it. Bite me, N. I already did, Sh Uzi. Shut up. Okay, I'll shut up. Alrighty, campers. Today we're going to be discussing how to properly survive a horror movie. Final Girl Edition. Because you're all angsty teenagers. Wait, why? We're not angsty teenagers. Yeah, and besides, what are the chances of being in one? There's no need. Oh, you sweet, innocent worker drones. You'll never really know if you're in a horror movie or not. After all, every action you make can start it. You'll never know. Once it's way too late, of course. Uh, what was that? <laughs> yeah. Huh? V, when I said a demonstration, I didn't mean commit a crime! Real number nine. Expect the unexpected. <sighs> <clears throat> Anyways, continuing on, next rule number eight and seven. Never go immorally make out or go inside suspicious cabins. Oh, Rebecca and Darren went to go immorally make out ages ago. She sent a text that she's going inside a suspicious cabin, and now she says someone's eating Darren out. Good for him. What? Oh, okay. Now that there's an unknown murderer, rule six, the first victim has a circle of friends the killer is part of, so you guys must know the name. Purple eyes? Hot topic? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Come on, you guys! Uh, split up! That's not what the book said! Rule 5 is to never split up! Rule 4, never expect you're safe! Rule 3, the final girl can also die! Ah, uh, V, come on! Rule 2 states, when it gets to Supernatural, always go for the head! We win over this! How do you help me, N? Uh, okay. No, oh, I'm a bad counselor, Uzi. I'm a failure. No, 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 Anne. You're doing your best. You're a great counselor. Huh? You really think so? Of course! One camper lived under your watch. You got me to revert to normal and you haven't broken a rule. Oh, that's right. I have an end, at least. I tried in the end. Yeah, that's the spirit. Say, Anne. It looks like you missed one rule. And... And it's the first rule. Do you remember what it is? Oh, that's easy. It's to never trust your love interest. <laughs> Lucy, what are you doing? Oh. Are you ready then? No! Oh, <laughs> hang on! My tail wants a piece of that too! <laughs> Lucy, not there! Moral of the story, 
Just don't do anything. Ready to be killed with overwhelming excitement, horror, and romance? Choose your starter. Genre disc for our first human movie marathon. That comedy one, please. Just put it in. Okay, okay. Last time I asked you for anything. Oh my god, look at the idiots. Grown humans outsmarted by a kid on Christmas twice. What is Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> he got hit by a brick twice. Yep, very predictable. Maybe exterminating humankind may be easier than I thought. Violence, violence, violence! Yes! Punish those scissors! Take revenge for your fallen uh, hound animal! <laughs> yes! Me? Yes! I'm scared of her more now. Hey! I can't see! This is my favorite part, V! Move it! Yeah, I snoo snoo! Jason, my beloved, teach me your ways. Wow! V's actually crying! We should do this more often! That bell kill is sick! Humans are really creative with their own self-destructions. Well, the green human has a better character development, and isn't he the focus protagonist? He's better in my opinion. That grenade human is a lot better! Did you not see him control his rage and accept that green human? Without him, the story is gone! Hot and cold emo kid for the win. Bite me. I feel like I became 50 shades lighter, because I don't understand why there's so much of this romance junk. Um, I thought we were watching Twilight, guys. Hey, Anne! We should do a maintenance check on you, too. We could check if you're really top leader. Like that man. See how he really helped her by the ropes? They're in the water naked! They're in the water naked! What is that? What is that spaghetti thing? This isn't the right Twilight. This, my thought process is now tainted, oh god. Relax, you two. They're just blowing bubbles. By the way, we're gonna download this. I lived it. I've done it. Eh, I've seen it. Well, that was fun! Again next week? Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait for V and Uzi to get here. I want to learn more about this anime they speak of. Hey, Anne! Huh? Oh, there you two are. Sorry, Sorry to, to keep, keep you waiting. waiting. <laughs> wow, you look amazing! Ha! See, I told you I'm stunning! Uh-uh, no way. And was looking in my direction. It's only natural he chose me. After all, Anne is a disassembly drone like myself. Just like it's natural that he'd also get sick by looking at you. I know more about anime cosplay than you could ever in that yellow stinger of yours. Is that a challenge I hear? I perfected cosplay even before I knew it existed. Says a lot, doesn't it? Bite me. Round one. Who looks better, in? As much as I love the killing game, Dankenrapa, V does pull Nier off a lot more, giving her designs structure. Ha! <laughs> Told ya! It's not over yet! Oh! So you decided to do the same franchise this time, huh? Afraid I know and more, copycat. And choose. Pan to your stocking! Stocking for sure! Uzi as stocking is so cute! Shoot! Ha! <laughs> Final round! Winner takes all! Yeah. Yeah. Oh! So you decided to be an actual copycat! Huh! Hey! This was my idea first! Um... Okay, calm down you two! You two look amazing regardless of what you wear! No need for a competition to justify that! I love both of you! Ah... We are a team after all... And maybe more one day... Hmm... Well, since you put it that way... I guess Uzi does look good in some outfits. Well, fine. I'll let it slide this time. Alright, now that that's done, let's go watch Evangelion! Yay! Robot killers! Yay! Human extermination! I bet it's definitely not gonna traumatize me.